The walls it's ridiculous. Be uh, look, yeah. this may all sound ridiculous. This could happen. So let's bring in a, an expert, Donald Trump's former lawyer, Alan Dershowitz, one of the smartest legal brains I've probably ever encountered. Alan, make some sense of all this. We're sitting here across the pond in the United Kingdom. And it seems to us utterly insane that somebody can now be indicted uh, on one case involving hush payments to a porn star, now indicted federally uh, on what appear to be far more serious charges under the Espionage Act involving classified documents. He's, he's heard on tape boasting on not un, uh, declassified. Put some, some, some meat on this rumour mill bone about all this. Where, where is Donald Trump now? Where well, is he legal? The first case is a joke, the New York case. Uh, they made up uh, facts, they made up law. He won't be convicted and he shouldn't be convicted. The second case, the federal case, much more serious. They have his own words and the words of his lawyers making incriminating statements. It is certainly possible he could be convicted. The Constitution does not, as you say, preclude him from running uh, as a uh, an indicted or even convicted or even imprisoned person. I doubt he'll be imprisoned, but it's certainly possible. We have a strange situation here. We have a situation where Trump was targeted, perhaps even illegally. They went after him in order to try to focus on him and him alone, mm. but they succeeded as the result of unlawful actions of targeting him. With his own cooperation, they came up with evidence on tape that may very well be enough to convict him. Now, is it okay to convict somebody if you've improperly targeted him, but the targeting resulted in evidence of real crime? For example, if this were in the South, if this were a racist prosecutor in the 1930s who said, I'm only going to investigate crimes committed by black people, not white people, and he investigated and found the crime committed by a black person, would we say it's okay to prosecute him? Maybe. Now, this is different. This isn't race. This is politics, and politics is different. But there are troubling aspects of this case. They've used the words of his own lawyer against him. The judges ruled that he violated the lawyer-client privilege. It's a complicated case. If I was still teaching at Harvard, as I was for 50 years, I'd be using this as a case okay. study but on Alan, the problems Alan, of the legal system. Alan, hold, hold yeah. with